Imagine if you could be creative whenever you want to be. Not whenever you feel like being creative, but that you could create, do a piece of writing, make a video, create an image, whatever it is you want to create. Imagine if you could just create it whenever you schedule to create it. Wouldn't that be an amazing superpower? Well, you can. It's a practice that you can actually develop to be able to just create on demand or on whatever schedule you schedule. The problem with most of us is that when it comes time to create something that's on our schedule, we don't feel like doing it. And why don't we feel like doing it? Doubt, I don't know if I can be creative right now. Perfectionism, oh, but what if it's not as creative and on, what if I'm not as on as I could be later in the day when I'm more awake or when I'm, you know, feeling more into something, you know, in, into creating? Or maybe it's, you know, um, self-judgment, right? Or fearing other people's judgment. Whatever it is, it's really your negativity that's stopping you from being creative on demand. Nobody is stopping you. It's your own inner negativity. And you know, hopefully you believe this, that you can, you can practice and overcome all of your inner negativity. It's true. You can overcome everything that's within you that's saying, oh, I can't do it. Uh, I don't feel like doing it. Uh, what if it's not as good as it could be? Oh, maybe I should do it later. All of it you can overcome but you have got to practice. It doesn't just happen because you have an intention of doing it. You actually have to practice. And guess what? Practice isn't fun. That's why you're not doing it, is it? Practice, I should say, isn't fun in the beginning. And I've said this before in different ways. Practice isn't fun. Practicing being a better you isn't fun in the beginning. In the first 30 minutes of writing, I don't enjoy writing. Did you think I enjoy writing? I, I've written over a thousand blog posts. I've pub, sell, published four books. Do you think I do it for my health? Do you think I enjoy doing it? No, of course I don't enjoy doing it. I don't enjoy the first 30 minutes of it. But then once I make myself do it for 30 minutes, you say, how can you make yourself do something you don't like for 30 minutes? I'm not struggling. I'm not in pain. I'm not, I'm just like, hmm, yeah, I don't. Yes, I'm, in those 30 minutes, I'm dealing with my self-doubt. I'm dealing with my perfectionism. I'm dealing with like, oh, it wouldn't be so much more fun to be eating a snack right now or to be watching a movie or wh wh whatever else I could be doing. I, I'm self-employed. I set my own schedule. I could do whatever I want during the whole day. I could do whatever I want. Play video games, whatever I want to do. So much more fun. The first 15 to 30 minutes, I sit my ass down and I say, it's not going to be fun for 30 minutes. Can you write in a not fun way for 30 minutes? It wasn't fun. It wasn't fun doing this video. It wasn't fun showing up. I'm, I'm just now starting to, a few minutes into it. I'm now starting to have some fun. But it wasn't fun starting this whenever I said I would start this. It wasn't fun doing it. But you've got to grow up. Okay. You got, if, if you, this, is, this is the definition of maturity, right? Kids who are not mature, I should say immature people, they, they think they should only do things when it's fun, when they feel like doing it. That's the definition of immaturity. Maturity is coming to realize that, oh, to, be, to, grow, to, to grow into a better person, to become a person that is more diligent, that is more uh, joyful, it, it, ironically, to be a person that's, you know, because if even being joyful isn't fun in the beginning, isn't that, isn't that ironic? Even being joyful isn't fun in the first few minutes. To be joyful, because it's, e it's easier to be depressed. It's easier to be anxious. It's easier to be hateful. It's easier to be sad. It really is. It's our, our human gravity, the gravity of this life. Like your soul came into this soul gym, this gymnasium, right? And you're picking up these weights. It's easier not to pick up the weights. It's easier to just let, let, lay down on the floor and just become lazy. It's easier. It's easier to do that. In this life, it's also easier to be depressed, to be anxious, to be um, doubtful, to be jealous, to be hateful, to be 
you know, judgmental, to be all of those things. It's easier to, to it's, it's more fun to be negative. It's not fun to say, right now, I feel like being hateful to this person, but I'm going to, to, do, to, ex to experience the pain of being kind to this person. It's not really so much pain, it's, it's the, the unnaturalness. This person did something bad to me and it is natural and fun to, to be in revenge. It's natural and fun to be judgmental, to be in revenge. And instead, and I'm, I'm giving you the most basic teaching that we all believe is probably the true of life, the life's purpose, just to love one another, to love your enemies, right? It's more fun to revenge and to hate and to, but I'm going to experience the unnatural feeling and maybe even painful emotional feeling of forgiving and being kind. And, and I'm going to try that for, for a while. And then if, as I keep doing it, eventually it becomes fun to, to be kind. And, and same thing with, with creative work, whether you're writing or making videos or creating a course or uh, you know, recording a podcast or whatever, or you know, reaching out to, to potential clients, whatever work it is you're doing, it's not fun in the beginning. It's not fun. And so you have to experience, practice, experience the unnatural feeling of doing what you don't feel like doing and the emotional pain of that. You have to be big enough. You have to be adult enough to sit with that pain of unnatural feeling of, I'm just going to show up to do this video, even though I don't feel like doing it. I'd rather be taking a nap or I'd rather be, I could be taking naps all the entire day. I could be taking a nap because I think if I didn't, if I didn't do what, if I did what was only natural to me, I would probably be depressed and in bed all day and anxious and be out of work. That's, that would be natural for me and playing video games. If, if you said, George, if you could just be your, be your, your authentic self. See, when I say authentic, I, I mean something, I mean the authentic self with a capital S, not the authentic self with a small S. If, if I were my authentic self with a small S, I would be playing video games, eating potato chips, watching YouTube and probably be depressed and anxious all day long. That would be my normal self. That would be fun. But I would not be creative. I would just be a consumer, right? So to create on demand, to, to be a creator, right? And, and so many of you, you probably agree with me. It's, it's more productive in the world to be more purposeful in the world, to be a better you to be a higher you, to be like the best you you can be is to be a creator, right? Not just a consumer. But so many of you have this myth that you, you create only when you feel like creating. I don't feel like creating today, George. I, don't, I just didn't feel like it. I only create when I feel like it. And you don't create. And that's not that you're, you're at, you're a victim of yourself. You are being a victim of your own negativity. And you got to stop and say, I am tired of being a victim of my own negativity and I will no longer be that. It's a, it's, and it's still going to be a practice and it's still going to be a journey, but it's every day and it's every hour. It's every hour, not this hour. I don't feel like it. No, no, this hour, the very not feeling like doing it is the practice, is the practice of, I know I don't feel like doing this right now, but I'm going to prioritize my purpose and I'm going to prioritize my possibility more than my laziness, more than my disbelief in myself. I'm going to prioritize my possibility and my higher way of being more than my lower way of being. I'm going to prioritize. I'm going to prioritize it. And I'm going to say, I'm going to experience the unnatural feeling of just writing for 30 minutes, even though I don't feel like writing at all even though I don't know what to say, even though I'm not going to be smart right now, even though I can't be eloquent right now, even though when I put it, put it out there, people not, might not think I'm smart or wise or people might not hire me as a client, I'm still going to write. I'm still going to write. Okay. And let me give you some tools to be your unnatural small self but your more natural big self with a capital S. Let me give you a couple of tools. Uh, and I'm referring to my blog post that you can read uh, about this if you want. So essentially you are dealing with a set of feelings that is your negative self. 
all day long, you're dealing with it. But especially when you create, that's when your negative self comes into being. It says, oh, I'm doubtful. I'm perfectionistic. I'm, I re- I'm going to rebel against my schedule. I said I would do this right now, but I'm a rebel. I don't feel like doing it. I'm a rebel against that. It feels unnatural. I would rather flow and eat potato chips and watch YouTube videos and play video games and lay on the floor and, and, and you know, be depressed. I, that's more natural for me. I mean, more in flow. Or I want to go and, you know, I'm more natural for me to go and go and go on a walk right now. No, that's more healthy and natural. No, no, no. You said you would create right now and you better create right now if you want to learn how to no longer be a victim of your lower self. Okay? So instead of these negative feelings when you, when you, when you schedule to create, okay, instead, there is another set of feelings that's possible for you. In the realm of possibility, don't you believe that there's another set of feelings that's possible for you instead of those negative feelings? Of course there are. This universe is unlimited. So instead of doubt, perfectionism, fear, dread, okay, take on safety. No matter what happens, I know I am loved and I'm taken care of. Now, why don't you take that on? Why take on dread or doubt or perfection or rebellion? Why don't you take on safety? Oh, I know that it's all going to be good. Why don't you take on partnership with spirit? Spirit flow through me. I, I, and I'm going to trust that you're going to flow through me. I'm just going to write anyway and trust that you'll flow through me. Okay. Take on trust, right? I'm just going to write. I'm not going to wait until somehow spirit is uh, suddenly I'm struck with lightning and brilliance. And no, I'm just going to trust that as I write, you will flow through me in whatever way you want to flow through me, spirit. Okay. Take on, take on curiosity. Huh? I wonder as I write, what's going to come out. I'm so curious. I'm just going to write for an hour. and just so curious what's going to come out of that. Uh, I'm going to just keep writing. Take on excitement. Take on Take on the fun, ex- game on. I'm, I'm going to rebel against my lower self of not feeling like doing this. And I'm going to game on. I'm going to do this. I'm excited to rebel against. I am actually a rebel. I rebel all day long against my lower self to say, I don't feel like doing it. I just want to be depressed, anxious, doubtful, hateful, sad. I rebel against that all day long. And I, I'm, no, I'm not going to be that. I'm instead going to be more joyful. I'm going to be more um, productive. I'm going to be more uh, calm. I'm going to be more loving. I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be. And of course, having practiced that over the years, guess what? This second set of positive feelings becomes the new you. It becomes the new normal. So yes, right now it is normal for you to hate working on a schedule. It is normal for you to rebel against 12 o'clock. You said you would write. I'm going to, that's normal right now, but it doesn't have to be normal. That is not like you can be whatever you want to be. You can be whatever way you want to be in the world. You could be negative. You could be doubtful. You could be rebellious. You could be all those things, or you could be structured. You could be joyfully creative on demand. You could be intuitive and loving and completely your best Genius flow self on demand whenever you scheduled. Oh, 12 o'clock. I'm supposed to be writing right now. I've learned and practiced to be my best self at 12 o'clock when I'm writing. Just, just whenever I've scheduled it, I've learned and practiced being my best self. You see, so, so you've got, like, if you, if you could just learn this one superpower, you would accomplish everything you want to accomplish. You could have the best business You could have the best life, this one superpower, and it's something you can develop. It's this rebelling against being victimized by your lower self, doubt, perfectionism, rebelling, rebelling against being on schedule, rebelling against working your self-imposed schedule. Seriously, like, like schedule what you want to do in your business. And then when it comes time to do it, rebel against not feeling like doing it and rebel against that and just say, I'm going to feel the unnatural feeling, the not flow feeling of writing or making a video or reaching out to potential clients or whatever it is you, you've scheduled to do. If you practice the superpower day after day after day after day, I promise you it will become your new normal and you will change your, it will change your life forever. It, you will be like, 
this is amazing. Why haven't I done this all my life? Well, because you, no one taught you or no one supported you into doing it, to, to learning the superpower. And this is something that I've transformed myself over 10 years to become this way. So now, as you know, I, I write all the time. I make videos all the time. I create courses all the time. It wasn't always like this. I wasn't always this joyfully productive, but now I am. And it's, I've learned to be calm, joyfully productive, and it's become my new normal. So, but I still, still in the first, it doesn't take me half hour anymore, but it takes me probably 15 minutes of unnatural behavior, unnatural, you know, like, like making this videos takes me faster because I'm, I know I'm live and I'm, you know, it, you know, five minutes and then, I, and then I'm into it. First five minutes, I'm not really into it. Writing, it takes me 15, sometimes still 30 minutes of unnatural behavior before I'm into my joyful productivity and in flow and in my genius. And, but it takes time. It might take you an hour right now to get into flow, but it takes me half hour, 15 minutes. And, but it'll get shorter and shorter and shorter over the years as you practice. And I would say the more frequently you practice, the, the shorter it gets. So I, right now I, I, I write uh, twice, uh, twice a week is when I really do my, well, really only once a week I do my big writing. And so uh, it, it's harder to practice shortening that unnatural not flow uh, when you only write once a week. But if you write every day, you practice shortening that not flow rebelling behavior and down to like five minutes or that, you know, if you practice every day. So if you want to, whatever it is you want to do on schedule, like you want to follow your schedule and it's hard, do it every day. Schedule that every single day and you will learn how to rebel faster against your lower self and get into flow and get into your genius much faster. So I hope this is helpful and I'm going to check out now to see if there are any comments from the live viewers. I always, always, always welcome your, um, your comments and your questions. And I'm not seeing any comments right now. I'm going to check in one more place. I'm just giving, giving all of you watching on YouTube and, and some of you on Facebook the chance to, uh, to comment as I figure out if I have any comments right now live. Um, okay, and give me a moment while this thing loads. Uh, well, I want to thank uh, uh, some of you for joining me, Dorota and Mary and Gabby. Uh, I guess this was uh, a video that was kind of hard to take. This is uh, one of the topics that uh, people don't like to, to hear from me because everyone wants to rebel. Everyone wants to do what they feel like doing. And somehow, you know, one more thing I, I say is somehow you have this myth that it's somehow more spiritual or more intuitive to just go with a flow all day. It's not, it's not spiritual. It, intuitive is such a messed up word, that word intuitive, because the word intuitive if you, if you define it in a higher and truly more spiritual way, it's about being plugged into the divine, right? But a lot of people now use the word intuitive to mean connected to their lower self, connected to their laziness, connected to their, their old habits, and think that's, that's what intuitive means. That's, being intuitive doesn't mean that. It's, oh, I feel like playing video games right now. Oh, that's intuitive to me to play video games right now. Or it's intuitive to me to go on a walk and not do what I scheduled to do. That's that's not intuitive. That's just being your lower self. That's being a victim of your lower self. Being intuitive is truly being plugged in to the divine in your higher self. That's being intuitive. And, and, and you, can be, you can call that in anytime you want. You can call in, in your intuitive self on demand anytime you want if you practiced it. But most of us don't practice it. Most of us think that go with the flow in life means to do whatever we feel like doing, which is actually being a victim of your lower self. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. And uh, thank you for the one comment from Durota. So thank you so much. All right. Um, you are brave to have watched this video because most people would rebel against this video and ignore this video because they don't want to, they don't want to be better, <laughs> I think. Um, but you, you are brave and I, I appreciate you. So I hope you'll take this and you'll work. It. Now, now, I'm not saying you have, to, you have to work on my schedule, right? You, your schedule can look whatever you want to look. You can, you can be as sparse in your schedule as you want. Your schedule is your friend. Your calendar is, your, is, your, is a tool for yourself to say, if I want to get things done in life on a timeline that I want, I need to schedule them. Otherwise, I'm not going to get done, right? Because my lower self is going to come in and says, this is intuitive right now. Do this. BS, right? You can be intuitive doing whatever you want, whenever you want. You're bigger than this. Your, your possibility is limitless. That's really true. That's really what's true about you is you are limitless. You are unlimited. 
You can be whatever you want, whenever you want in an instant, right? So I hope this helps and uh, I wish you a good day and I'll see you in the next video.